Hello, hello, buddy. What is going on? It is your girl into MCA here. Welcome back to another beautiful Tuesday. In this video, we're going to be looking into what Aries needs to see here for, you know, just a little energy check in. Nothing crazy. If I do decide to pull some love messages, because we uh, we did a lot of love messages last week. So I want to try to stay away from those. Um, but if you guys want more love readings, just let me know down in the comments. Once again, this will be for Aries, Sun, Moving is Horizon, and Cross Watchers. Hey, how y'all doing? Being nosy. Also, yeah, my finger, well, not really my finger, but my you know, my nails a little messed up. So if you, if you see me messing with it, don't don't even come at me, y'all, because I'm about to get my nails done real soon, baby. Real soon coming up. So this hand's going to be an issue. But do not forget to please like this reading. Do not forget to comment down below. Information about private and paid personal readings will be down in the com sorry, down in the comments down in the description. If you don't see it yet, just don't fret. It will be there, okay? Because, you know, things be taking me a little bit of a longer time, especially with, like, the downloading. Because, you know, YouTube be YouTubing. I'm going to just throw that over there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And I still need to buy some more of this shit. So, so I'm going to start off with, I don't want to start off with, I don't think I'm going to start off with the angel message. That's what I'm going to start off with, with a nice angel message for you guys, Aries. So let me go ahead and get this deck. I think I might use the Tarot Wonderland today because I have not been using some of those decks down below. So let's see here for Aries and what y'all need to know. Let me see here. Spirit for Aries, Sun, Moving is in a Rising. I'm going to come a little closer to, to y'all. Because I, I know I'm a little backed up. Like I said, I know. Y'all yeah, need to let me know. Because I know y'all like, where was there? Aries readings and the Leo and the Sagittarius yesterday. <laughs> Your girl was busy. <laughs> Let's see here. What does Aries need to know? Okay, Angel of Travel. That shit came out fast. I'm going to pull, you know, I'm just going to pull like... Might as well just do four of these. Not four, sorry. Three more. Angel of Healing. Ooh, I think I'm just going to work my way around this Aries, honestly. And just keep it like a buck. <laughs> just keep it going and flowing. Because that's what my spirit is telling me to do. Angel of Stress. Mm. I'm out to that as a motherfucker. <laughs> Most definitely, Aries. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let me see here. Okay. Angel of Channeling. You got 26. Well, I'm going to keep them in the order that they're going because I feel like I just need to do that. I'm not going to change them. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them at that. You got 7, 25, 3, and 26. So, you could be seeing 6s, 2s, 3s, 5s, and 7s. If not, that's not for you. But I've definitely been seeing all these numbers myself because I am an Aries. So, Angel of Travel. A lot of y'all Aryans, y'all will be doing some travel. It don't matter local. It don't matter state. It don't matter nat um, like the city you went. It don't really matter. Okay, if you're going to a different nation, shit like that, you're definitely going to be doing some traveling. Now, with the angel of travel, I do feel like you will be safe. So if you don't feel safe traveling or there may be some turbulence or you might run into certain winds and things like that, I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you, Aries, don't fret, don't don't w be worried. If it's not you that doing the traveling, it could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend. If not a significant other, it could be family, friends. Even if you're doing it with your animals, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like your animal is not safe, you can lean on your angel of travel they will be there for you so like i said you will see sevens if you do a lot of traveling currently and or will be in the near future angel of healing 25 okay and y'all can also look these numbers up and what they mean okay for you know angelic angelical reasons okay so a lot of you Arian, arians will be doing a lot of healing downtown energy spending by yourself away from individuals you know i've been healing myself you know and it takes time aries it do take time. There's no rush. There is no amount of, of, of time and energy that you can be healed like this. Okay, Spirit said, when you know you healed, you don't argue with people. You you walk away. When you healed, you can be in peace. And you don't need to worry about shit. You, all right, yeah, we got the angel of stress, but I feel like the stress is just coming from places of other areas. You know, and it also could be financially too. So I'm going I'm to definitely pull some um some money cards in this read. <clears throat> But I feel like I said, a lot of you doing some um some um angel of you know of healing. So you got uh, angel of healing coming to you, so you can feel divine love, divine you know divine energy. So with this angel of stress here, 
threes also talks about support you know getting that help that you need it could be from a therapist a, a psychologist could be a friend lover family member even an animal could help you not stress out but i feel like your angel of stress is definitely giving you the power to not be stressed out but stress don't always mean a bad thing stress can also mean that you know you just need to look at things from a different perspective aries okay and aries like like a challenge so this challenge could definitely help you resolve some of your um some of your issues and that's also could be the angel of healing as well angel of channeling okay number 26 you are definitely having some inner channeling you can be an intuitive person that means like just like myself that's why i call myself intuitive mca you can be channeling some higher thoughts you can be going into different realms and different vibrations going up and down because everybody's got chakras in them if you know how to use your chakras go ahead and do that for yourself you might be uh, using meditation you might be using sound bowls okay things like that i listen to sound bowls at night beautiful I can't do raindrops, guys. I don't know how some people can listen to waterfalls and all that because it makes me want to use the bathroom. But do what you got to do, okay, here, Aries? But a lot of you are doing some channeling, okay? Channeling that in, the inner youth energy in you, okay? Especially if you was a child and you had a lot of childhood trauma, you are channeling, not channeling that energy and pushing it out to the universe so you no longer have that with you, okay? But I do feel like a lot of y'all are trying to get better in life and trying to be successful, okay, here? So let's go ahead and continue what else do I want to pull? Hmm. I'm trying to stay away from these these damn love messages. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this deck right here. I'm trying to be careful with my my damn them acting a fool, y'all. I just had a dentist appointment today. Mm. Let's see here. Ow, ow, ow. Mm-mm. It was all bad. I should have just kept my goddamn band-aid on it. Honestly, I'm being stubborn as hell. And that's my own fault. Oh. Let's see what's going on for the Aries. Look, ask your angels. Exactly. I'm thankful that I picked up this deck. So I said, ask your angels. When you don't know, ask your angels. You, you can do the work, Aries. You can do the healing. Whatever is stressing you out, whatever you need to channel, channel that energy, and then release and let it go. Because you don't want to hold on to anything that, that's not safe for you. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. And that's what it's saying here. And that's the first card that came out this deck. And what we're looking at, angel messages. It says energy activation, connect to the divine through meditation or prayer, like I just fucking said. You know? I just said that too. So let me see here. Resolving issues, solving inner conflict, handling the past trauma. Baby, I love my angel ancestors. I do. I swear I do. What else is going on here for look? Leap of faith. And that's that travel. Take a risk, step into the beauty of the unknown. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need no love messages because this is definitely giving Oracle as hell. Oracle, Oracle, and a little bit of tarot. Most damn, definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spot on, spot on, spirit. What else do we need to know here? I'm going to go ahead and start pulling in some tarot now because, like I said, this, <clears throat> you know, don't make fun of my box, y'all. Because I know it's, it's bootlegged, but whatever. So let's see what Aaron used me to see here, spirit, for this divine energetic energy here with this reading for aries some of it isn't rising what else information look queen of cuts <laughs> you fucking healing aries you healing you doing what you need to do and it's showing and people are, are going to stare at you because, listen, a queen of cups is someone that is an intuitive being. This is giving me Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have a Pisces moon. And I've been feeling like a queen of cups. Like, a queen of cups is divine energy. Like, you, you, like, she put her hands up. Like, she's giving it up to spirit because she knows that she can get whatever she wants. And if you and he, you can get whatever you want, boy. Like, you can do it all. You, can, you got this, Aries. You got what it takes. Look death and rebirth and that's you going through you know your life lessons you, you basically you circling back and you taking that leap of faith to, to give it up to spirit ears you really really seeking and solving your your inner conflict with others healing your past trauma letting go releasing giving it to spirit because you know spirit the divine angel ancestors is going to going to support you okay like you definitely going through a death and a rebirth and a lot of y'all could be seeing a lot of good karma coming in for you as well let's see here for aries look strength and you have the courage you got the strength to do what you need to do and that's leo energy you got water energy leap of faith giving aries death and rebirth giving scorpio 
What else information here for Aries? Look, judgment. And you making that judgment call to make sure that you're doing what you need to do, Aries. You giving it to yourself. Spirit said, I am. They said, round of applause, Aries. We are proud of you. Okay, look, Queen of Pentacles, baby. You ain't having no money issues, so I don't feel like I need to pull. Damn, this shit hurts. Sorry, y'all. I don't feel like I need to pull no money me messages because I just saw that Queen of Pentacles. Well, I, I may or may not. I may or may not. But honestly, Aries, it's not giving nothing bad. You got a lot of major, minor, arcana cards. You literally only had, like, yeah, you didn't really have any, like, any other cards. Like, it was giving major to minor arcana. It really was. It, it really was. It truly fucking was. You got Judgment, Strength, Queen of Cups, like, Death and Rebirth. You didn't have any of the cards. You had the ones, nothing else coming out. Like, it was straight to the point. Spirit said, you got the strength. You got the courage. You know what you want to do. And you making a judgment call on, on what you got to do in life. And you know what you want to do. Baby Aries, you said, you said, you, you most definitely know what you're doing. Like, you, you on a roll, Aries. Okay, if it's a business, you starting, if it's starting a family, a relationship, a goal, a dream, you gonna have it. But you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, Aries, and ain't nothing stopping you. What's going on here for Aries for the closing messages? A new start is coming, baby. I... Spirit, thank you. A new moon. So the next new moon, you gonna have a brand new fucking start, Aries. I'll put one more for this, and that's gonna be it, because baby... A time for healing. I keep seeing this healing cord. What's going on with you, Aries? Like, spirit said heal. If you do the healing, you gonna get the new start. So, Aries, it don't matter. Love, money, job, apartment, car, pregnancy, getting on, on child support, whatever the fuck is it you want to do, Aries. You, congratulations. You level the fuck up. Like Sarah said, level up, level up, level up. Okay. You, you doing it, okay? I also see a lot of purple energy here. So purple could be significant. And I want to say like green as well. I see a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. But other than that, Aries, that's going to be your reading. It was right down to the point. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like this video, comment down below. Information will be down in the description about private sessions and paid personal readings and how you all can find me on TikTok and more things like that. Do not forget to stay blessed, stay on the same tune I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Aries.